Good afternoon again, everybody. It's going to today's date, May 7th, 2023. This is the third week now of the, the new window boxes for the Super Tunias. Um, I still have not been fertilizing yet. I'm gonna start doing that today or sometime next week. One of the reasons why um, is I'll show you really quick have a fertilizer injector and I'm still reading up exactly how to fine tune it to make sure that I'm not over fertilizing or under fertilizing. So it's a lot of reading and I wanna make sure I get it right. So this is actually three weeks now of no fertilizing other than what's already in the soil that I put there as pellets. Um, what I've noticed pretty much from all the boxes is the blue skies and the bubble gums, which are the only Vista soup petunias, are growing almost identical, meaning they're flowering around the same amount, they're, they're spreading out around the same amount, but it's the black cherries that are taking a little longer. Now we'll go over here, kind of the same thing. You can see there's finally some spillover happening. And as you know, with uh, these super tunings, especially if you watch last year's videos, you'll know that in about another three weeks from now, maybe, maybe a month from now, you're no longer gonna see any of these boxes. The flowers are gonna be covering them. And they're gonna keep going and going and going. And eventually, especially over there, they'll actually touch the tops of the hedges and I, I kept having to trim the hedges last year that's how that's how much they grew so here's they look like on the railing again the black cherries they're a little f further behind but still still fine both boxes pretty much are growing at a nice rate they don't seem to be like outdoing one another kind of equal over here the smaller window boxes Kind of this, again, the same exact thing. You see the black cherry. So you can kind of see how, in this case, the blue skies is beating the, the bubble gum, which is interesting. Over here, the bubble gum's probably doing the best. But again, you can tell that there's a little bit of a odd and even shape because you have something small and something big right next to it. But this is only the third week now of growing. So it was a whole lot coming up. Uh, I, I still water it um, right now at least once a day. Again, and you can see the drip line going that way. What's nice about it is I last year when I had to water, I would take a hose all the way from that corner of the house, drag it all the way through, bring it up on the porch, then down, then all the way this way and I would stand up to the window boxes and put the, put the hose over and, and water it that way. But when I had to fertilize, I had to get up on the ladder because you have to use the watering can. And sometimes I would go behind and in the garage through the windows just to fertilize. And with these, it was always easy because you just walk up behind them to hand water them. And then with those ones over there, I would actually have to go into the bedroom <laughs> and water from behind because there's just so many flowers that you'll find that as the season progresses, see right now it's not that bad, but as the season progresses and you get into the dead of summer, you're not gonna really find any areas to get down near the soil and you're just gonna keep pouring water on the leaves and on the flowers, which will eventually cause mold to happen. That's what I noticed last year. So that'll be it for this update. Um, I'm, I'm, by next update, I'll be fertilizing them. Uh, again, still have to do some research uh, before I before I uh, use this injector over here because I'm not quite sure yet exactly how I do it. But just to give you a quick, I'm going to do a different video on this, but this is what the setup looks like right now. And it's still not in its permanent form. There'll have to be some type of cover over here, especially if storms happen or whatnot. So, in the meantime, 
that'll be it for this week's update. Be sure to tune in, leave any comments of any questions you have. And until then, see you next weekend.